All right, guys, so I'm just going to make this video here. Um, I'm going to share in this video spiritual cleansing. Um, so what is this? This is actually palm olive leaf. Now, there's a science behind this leaf here that it has some properties, some elements, some uh, uh, ingredients that is... and, and the energy that this tree cultivates, that it actually is able to ward off uh, opposite energies, opposite um, energies that are, you know, could be following you or with you and things of that nature. Now, you might be asking, well, how do I know something is with me? So there's a lot of signs and symptoms um, uh, the ones that I do know of is a few things such as mental clarity. Your, your mental clarity is not so sharp, meaning you're constantly confused. Your, your logic of thinking is constantly maybe getting in the way. Um, you might even feel tired a lot, mentally tired, physically tired, um, or you could even feel sick. Um, you might have some sicknesses that you cannot even, your doctors won't even know. Um, what I mean by that is you might have some family members that you know or friends who went to the hospital, let's pretend, and they, doctors come back with reports saying there's nothing wrong with you or them, uh, there's, everything is completely normal, but the problem and symptoms continue to persist. Um, that could be definitely some sort of lingering or attached energy, um, you know, and or metaphysics energy. Metaphysic energy is also known as the Eastern Feng Shui. Um, metaphysic is the scientific way of titling Feng Shui because the under, scientists understand there are metaphysic energy in this universe. Okay, so I'm gonna dive into this video here a little bit in depth after this. I just wanna give you guys a brief explanation on what I know and what, how this has helped me, um, and I can share some stories after this video here, uh, but I wanna dive into how do we go ahead and boil palm olive leaf here, okay? So it's really simple here. I'm, I just, literally just picked this right now, fresh off the tree, um, and the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this. We're just gonna rinse it off because you can feel that the leaf, it's got these water spots and they're kind of like growing things maybe, like a little bit of mold or so, or, you know, it's just a little bit of dirt built up from the streets, the traffic, okay, number one. So two, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna, after we clean it, um, you can just kind of rinse it, just kind of rub it, so that way all the exterior, um, that cut the discoloration and all comes off, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab maybe like five or six pieces after and just boil it, boil it with water. Some people don't boil it, some people actually just put in hot water, or warm water, lukewarm water and then they take the water, they splash it over their head. So the whole point of this process is to get this uh, water to touch this element here um, and then put it over your head um, and things of that nature, okay guys? So we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into the details. Let's go guys. All right, so first thing first, all I do is just turn on the water and just literally just rinse it and kind of rub it. I'm obviously holding the camera with my one hand, so it's a little harder to do, but kind of through this thoroughly. I'll put it on the sides. Just kind of like washing, you know, your vegetables before you eat. You're just kind of rinsing it, nothing major. Um, you do want to avoid wetting it and then not putting it into the sun. You want to wet it and put it into the sun. Um, because it would dry it out better. Otherwise, if you keep this wet like this here and you put it back into a bag, it would mold up and it, would, and it won't be effective. So it has to be clean. It has to be uh, dry, completely dry, okay? So what I'm going to do is just rinse it and we're going to move on to the next step. So what I'm going to do right now is after I rinse them, I'm just going to take them outside to this area here the sliding door you can kind of just lay them out if you like here hopefully the wind doesn't take it away now i'm just going to grab a few pieces here 
and I'm gonna actually just boil these here. But I'm gonna lay the rest of them out to dry because I'm gonna give them to a friend. So I wanted to make sure I just clean it for them first. Okay, so let's make sure you kind of lay it out. So just kind of pan it out so they're not like stuck together. Um, that's it for now. I'm gonna go boil these now. All right, so once I put some water in there, uh, I'm just gonna start it up. Oops, wrong one. And that's it. You don't need, there's no specific amount of water. Um, I put about about a full cup, about two cups of water in here with about five or six leaves. And you just want to let it boil first. Boil it up. And the way you know it's ready is when the water is a little bit kind of discolored yellow, kind of like a little, like a green tea a little bit, because that's how you know that the elements has came out of the leaf already. Okay, so we're going to just give this a few minutes here. We'll be right back. All right, so once we bring this up to a kind of boiling point, I'm still gonna just give it some more time. And what I'm gonna do actually is, I'm just gonna kind of press on this because you can see that the leaf is like floating up. It's not really getting a lot of water contact. I'm just gonna kind of press it down first so just to get it physically into the water more. And then after you're done, after you're done, you're just gonna pour it out into a bowl and I'm gonna show you that in just a moment here. So we're just gonna let this, gonna pour this out. And once it's in the bowl, you can kind of see a yellow discoloration. That's how you know it's ready. But once you kind of bring it up to boiling point, pretty much ready to go. So now you, you can let this cool down here because it's really hot. So I'm going to show you the next steps after. All right, guys. So now that the water is cooled down, you can see it's a little discolored yellow. Uh, it's kind of cool enough now for me to do this video here because it was really hot, hot, boiling, boiling hot at the moment uh, earlier. So what I'm going to do is what, people, what some people do is they actually get a bigger pot than this. Okay, they get a much bigger pot than this. Um, but this is enough for me because I've done this before. So what I'm going to do now is uh, you can take, uh, you can shower in this water, meaning rinse your body. Or what I actually do is I'll just kind of get the leaves. Woo. Ouch. Um, and I'm going to kind of dip this here. And you can kind of just shower over your head. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It just has to be just enough water. Okay. Where it's kind of touching you. All right. It's like where you're just kind of moist. You're not too, you know, you're not like drowning yourself, obviously. You're not, you know, you need to swim in this, you know. So now the next thing you're going to do is after you put it on yourself, just a sprinkle of water all around kind of your body. Like I said, you can kind of just get it over your body a little bit, or you can actually, you know, rinse your entire body with this. If you feel like it's a very strong uh, energy force of some sort. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is... Now what you want to kind of do next is you're going to actually splash this water just kind of around the around the home okay it doesn't have to be a lot it just needs to be little tiny sprinkles okay so i'm just going to bring this to one corner here i'm going to kind of show you what i do so i just get like two little pieces here two leaves that are still kind of like sturdy kind of just want to dip it in here kind of just fling this water all over the place all right like I said, you don't need a lot. You just need a little bit. Just kind of get it around. You can splash them on the floor as well. Okay. So do it over here. Okay. Now I'm going to come out over here. Just kind of get the floors a little bit. You can kind of have it touch the ceiling, the walls. Okay. And this water here, the yellowness of that water will behold those properties. Okay. So let's go out. So I'm in my grandma's bedroom right now. You can kind of just splash it everywhere. Okay. Like that. Just kind of. Okay. Just, just literally like little sprinkles. You don't need a whole lot, okay? 
you can get this anywhere. I mean, it'll dry off. It's not uh, sweet, so you don't have to worry about any stickiness. Okay. This will get rid of... Go in the closet. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, that concludes the video right now. Um, you can see I'm really wet still. I just had to splash the remaining water on me and pour it all over my body. So um, if you guys are curious about the story, I'm going to say the quick story story right now. Um, but that's really it. Uh, I, I want to just make sure that you guys understand the process really quick. Number one is picking the leaves and washing it. Two is boiling it. Three is splashing the water around the entire house. Uh, just sprinkles. You don't need like a gallon or anything like that. You don't need anything major to like soak anything. It's just little light spritz and splashes. Okay. Um, so that's that. That's the recap of the video there. Um, so one time I went to uh, the cemetery uh, for a funeral and, you know, the some of the traditions you can call it or some of the understanding or beliefs or uh, understanding that how these energies work in in cemeteries or you know even hospitals that i know it contains a lot of energy there uh opposite energies uh, i don't want to say you know what type but we know that they're opposite energies uh and you know depending on the individual sometimes your energy might be low that day or maybe because you're you're maybe you're tired that day and your energy is low so then you kind of carry home these energies, not realizing it, um, and you're not aware of it too, maybe. So this hopefully this video makes you aware of that. So when you realize, hey, you know, um, I'm starting to feel low on energy. So my story is, I'm just gonna share it really quick. I went to a cemetery, I went to a funeral, I came home. I actually forgot to do this water and I actually didn't burn the paper uh, for, you know, the practice, uh, which is a different, subject that I'm not going to get into in this video. And I went to sleep that night and I was wondering why I couldn't sleep all night. I literally could not sleep all night. I was, I kept having dreams every hour and the dreams were very like chaos and didn't make sense. I think it was my body trying to tell me something because I'm very spiritually in touch, uh, very in tuned with energies around me. So I, I realized, oh my goodness, I, I think I, you know, maybe I brought something home by accident. And what's generally is in the home, I think it stays with you because it has entered your your kingdom, your fortress, your palace, or your place of being and living, right? So I called my mom and sure enough, she got me these palm olive leaves here. Um, we went to the temple and we prayed and we burned the incense and we got some gold, uh, these gold papers, which I don't have here right now, but they're these like little uh, charms that you can get from the temple. Um, and I and I we boiled this and I poured this all over my body um, and I went right back to sleep to take a nap because I was so tired from not being able to sleep and sure enough I had no more nightmares and everything was gone. Um, so I hope that story there somehow lets you guys know that how this you know may work. Uh, now, if you're asking, wondering right now, does sage work? Sage the actual sage bundle? Yes, they do. They do work. Um, and that one there, you instead of putting it in water and boiling, uh, you actually just light it and you walk around the homes and you kind of just wave this, um, the, the sage around with the smoke. That smoke has all the ingredients, elements uh, from that plant that will clear out any opposite opposing energies. Okay, guys. So I hope you found value in this video. Please leave a comment below to share how it worked for you, how it didn't work for you. Um, and... I hope that, you know, if you guys have any more questions, leave it in the comments. I'll check it and uh, share what I know there as well too, guys. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.